Hello, today I was playing with some of the tools that we released in the 3.4 and one of the ones that we released is the Love and I thought that it would be good, you know, to show you something that it can also be convenient when you are designing like cathedral rings. So you can use also the Love because it's parametric. So let me show you something. The first thing that I will do is just go to the profile placer. I will place just one here, this position, 1.8, and I will use the mirror for this one and then i will add a few more like this now on these ones i will start to build what will be my top part on each of them i have the the height so i can keep this was 1.3 this one i can go like this of course that i also need to take care of the so now i want to play with this and Let's see, we have here 2.6, we'll go like that. Now I can do two things here. The first is I will just use the sweep one to make the bottom with this one and this one. I will keep it without any cap, I will keep it open. And then I will use the new loft. So I will use this loft using these curves. The good thing about this is that if I go to the right view, now as you can see the shape, is telling me where I need to or what profiles do I need to play with but here we have many options so we have the all these options that we can play with all right so if I use the loose one it will already give me you know a more a smooth shape for this shank so probably we could keep it like this if you want to go let's call it crazy original you can go to loft the stride and then you will get something like this but this is not what we are looking for today so i will keep it loose and then just playing with the different shapes you will be able to make anything so if i go to the front view i see that it's not what i'm looking for but if i look the uniform it's doing a more softened shape so probably i will go with something like this and now because everything is parametric the first thing that i will do is this curve from tools i will add a profile cap and now again, going back to the profile placer, I will be able, you know, to just make some changes to make everything smoother. Once I have this part, the only thing that I need to do is just select and do the mirror. And here we have another way to make cathedral rings. So now the only thing that I would need to do is just work on the bridge, again, using the profile placer. I would use the mirror and the sweep one. That's what I'm looking for. And I will just make it narrower from here. And now if I look from the right view, the only thing that we need to change is just this profile here. So edit. There we go. So now we have this cathedral ring and of course that everything is parametric. So this is a base that you can keep for many, many models. And on top of it, you still can get like from here a nice curve, 0.5. And I will place some gems here, gems on curve. I will just use the table. And now the same process than always. So cutters, I will use the channel cutter and on these gems, I will use from settings the prong placer. Let me just go to the channel cutter because everything is so smooth and parametric. It's so easy to make any change. Probably I can go with the gem on curve. I can go to taper at the end. So everything keeps adapting to, to the geometry that I have. So this is very, very convenient. All right, so let's use this and do the mirror. And now I'm going to do the Boolean difference between this part. Sorry, first let me join everything with a parametric join that we have here. So now we have just one closed poly surface. And the next thing that I will do is the Boolean difference. So now, as you can see, we have a shank, a band that you can use in many scenarios. You still will be able to select the gem on ring rail and add it just here. 
So, and then you will be able to adapt it because still you will be able to go to the profile placer, just select the one that you want to change. And still I will be able to make, you know, changes to the loft that I made. A lot of options using this, this tool. And I think that can be quite convenient sometimes when creating these, these shanks. So this was a tip that I was willing to show you. I hope you like it. Thank you for watching.